Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll make a tree. So let's start with the trunk. Uh, and I'm gonna take, make a cylinder, move the pivot to the bottom, holding D and V, and then dragging it down. Holding X, I can snap it to the grid like this. And then I'm gonna set a subdivision axis of eight. This will give me um, eight uh, roots that I can pull out like this. We don't need the bottom faces, so we can delete those. And then we need to poke the faces uh, because we want to be able to pull out the roots and we need centers. So you select the faces, you go to edit mesh and there's a uh, poke function right here, like that. Uh, I also want to randomize this a little bit. So I'm going to select uh, these vertices, uh, double click uh, the transform scale. It's also under edit mesh transform. So if I double click it, You'll get the options here and there's a random function you can drag it out to one hit apply and then if you grab the blue arrow you can do that if you apply again you can then push it in and do it again and it'll just randomize it a little bit like that i want to take the bottom uh, vertices here just scale them out like that that's good enough okay we don't want this to be clean so now from the top view I'm going to use the curve tool on the uh, curve surfaces, the edit curve tool. And I know I added a uh, vertex right here, I don't need a grid, in between these uh, edge loops, right? Because we poked, so I can hold B to snap and then just click a couple times like that. And then the same here. And just draw some roots. So you only hold V. Uh, the first time you're snapping, hold V and then let go of V and then just draw a covered structure. And you can press Y to re enable the last tool you use, which is the edit curve tool. And we get something that looks like this. And they're too regular right now, so I want to randomize those as well. I'm going to press F8. This will take me into uh, component mode and then right here I can select the uh, vertex selection. If I select all of the vertices and then deselect the ones at the uh, that are touching the, the centers here. Those. Uh, there's a, a randomized script I will uh, have for you guys to download. Uh, if you run this randomized script, I'll show you how to install it also at some point. Uh, you can turn off rotate and scale and just leave move on and I have my range from negative one, uh, negative 0.5 to 0.5 and I, if I hit model you can see it'll start to randomize like that. But they're kind of going in all different directions like they're going up and down which we don't want. Uh, I want to be able to have the roots go into like a ground. So for this I'm going to make a plane and this plane is going to be larger than the root system, like this. And we'll make it not too dense, something like that. I can then select the center vertices or vertex, press B for, for uh, soft select. If you hold B and middle drag, you can pull out uh, soft select. And you can see I want to do it until the whole uh, plane is affected, but just barely on the edges. And I can pull out some ground like that. I can then select all of the vertices, turn off soft select by pressing B, and then use the ran the transform scale with uh, random on, and I can then pull out these vertices like this. If you press G again, this will uh, basically select the tool again, and then you can push it in and make this random ground. Now it's too uh, chunky right now, so we'll subdivide it like this and add two divisions make it like that and if you want to add a little more uh, randomization you can then just do a little bit more like that and then we'll bring it down below our root here like this and then we can freeze and reset transformations like that Make sure we save. Oh, 
let's set our project. This is a second tree, so we'll do version two. Like that. I'm gonna select the vertices, deselect the trunk, and I need to select the curves, I mean. And then we need to select all of the vertices on the curves and deselect the points that are are attaching to the trunk here. Let me move this one out because it's too close. Like that. There. Now, if I try and select uh, the this um, the plane on the bottom, what's going to happen is it's going to be in component mode and I'll just be selecting vertices, which I don't want to do that. So you need to right click on the surface and go to object mode. You'll still have these vertices selected, but now you can shift select the object, uh, not the components. So we have the vertices selected, but just the outside ones and we have this plane selected. We'll go to the form, shrink wrap, I missed. Set this to parallel to axis along Y axis, because we're going to go up and down, and turn on bi-directional. Hit apply, and all the curves will now stick to the surface. And if you want to make any adjustments now, you can, because if I select the vertex, turn on soft select, like this, if I move it up or down, you can see these curves actually follow. Okay, so we're there now. Uh, I'm going to hide the plane. I'm going to call this ground and this tree. Just so it's easy to figure this stuff out. What's what? Uh, I need to then turn off soft select, uh, remove all of the edges here at the centers. So I'm just going in and selecting these edges that I used uh, to poke because I don't need them now. And now if I select this face here, then shift select a curve, I can click extrude, give it some divisions. I want to drag this down like this. And if we go down uh, on the right side here in the channel box, you can see there's a taper. We can just middle drag, make it a little small like this and give it a twist. Then select the next curve, make sure we're in object mode, then in then select face like this and then shift select curve we can press G to redo the last command which is the extrude command taper and add a twist you can do it in the other direction if you want so this one's a little too tight here, so we'll take this, just push that out. Okay, so here's our root structure. Looks pretty good. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the curve tool. We can unhide uh, the ground, and the command to unhide the last thing that you hit is Control Shift H. It should unhide, but oh, we changed the name, so it doesn't know. That's fine. Go back to the curve tool, I'm gonna hold V and snap it to the center like this, then go up and then make a chunk like this. And we can change the curves here. You can also use the randomize uh, command to do it as well. But this looks good. Now I need to delete these edges here. We don't need them. If you want to keep them quads on top, we can just delete these here like that. We don't need triangles. Select these faces here. Shift select the curve and then extrude. And then the same thing that we did with the roots. Add divisions taper and give it a twist. You can twist it even more. And this edge loop here, 
Just select these edges here and just scale them out like that. Just a better transition. Now all the history is still on, so I can still go in and change this stuff. And we can also adjust this curve here. Now, if you want to make multiple trees like this, so what I can do is I can duplicate this out, move it over, go back in here, you can go back in here, change the trunk curve I want to scale it down do that and then take the trunk duplicate move it over and then give it some rotation now you have some variation here and let's see make a tree in the next video, I'll show you how to make uh, branches. If you like this video, please subscribe and like, and uh, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time.